What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about five very British phrases. I never grow tired of the British phrases, and somehow there seems to be an endless supply of them. And I think uh, the reason I really get a kick out of this stuff is because it makes absolutely zero sense if you have never heard it before, if you don't know what they're talking about or what the, the phrases or idioms mean, it makes zero sense. I was actually looking up some American uh, phrases and expressions like don't beat around the bush and time to hit the sack. I mean, it, it sounds quite sounds quite odd when you don't when you don't know what you're talking about. Time to hit the sack, uh, <laughs> you know, time to go to bed. But, you know, it's weird when you think about it. So I'm here for the weirdness. I, I somewhat enjoy it. And I'm very, very excited to see what kind of British phrases we have today. And if I can make sense of them or try to guess what they mean. Or, or maybe I've heard some of them before. Either way, it sounds very fun. So let's take a look. So these are phrases and idioms that we use in everyday language here that are going to, if you might use them, they're gonna make your English sound so, so British. So, so, so British, that's, that's perfect. I can't believe like, I have heard British phrases before some of the lists and it's like, I truly, truly ask every time, is this stuff actually said like on a daily basis commonly in Britain? Cause it seems like Britain in particular has some of the funniest Oh man, most out there, most creative, like phrases and sayings of anywhere, it seems like. So if you're ready, let's do this. I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Feel. Oh, here we go. A classic British idiom, to feel under the weather. Wow, I wonder if this is a... Uh originally British. Um, it almost feels that way based on America's history, right? But this is a common expression in America. I had, I could not have told you if this was used in Britain or the same meaning, but under the weather is totally an American expression as well, meaning sick. This means to feel ill or sick. Yeah. So uh, you might say, um, oh, I'm not coming to work today because I feel under the weather. Honestly, this is entertaining for me as well because I never know which sayings are going to translate uh, in both America and Britain, like that we both use. It's surprising to me as well because there's so many in Britain that Americans don't use. And it means I feel sick, I feel ill. Call it a day. This is a really great Call it phrase. a day. This just means to stop. Call it a day. Like, uh, man, it's funny because we say these things, but I never like think about them on like a sort of face value. Call it a day. Like time, wrap it up, go home. It's, it's the end of the day. We're gonna put a stop to it. Stop what you're doing for a temporary period of time. So at the mm -hmm. end of a working day, you might say, oh, I'm going to call it a day. Yep. Just means I'm going to stop now and maybe I'll continue tomorrow or I'll continue at a later point. We usually use it uh, at the end of doing a task. Yes. So let's say... Well, I think most people use it uh, at the end of work, like when they're done with their job or if they're going to end a job. It's like time to call it a day. You're trying to write an essay. You might say, oh, oh, I've been writing all day. I'm going to call it a day and continue tomorrow. So I'm going to right. call it a day just means I'm going to stop now and I'll continue later. Okay, so there's two so far that are both British and American. Here's one that I personally use quite a lot. Play it by ear. Play it by ear. Oh, man. See, this confuses me a bit. I think, oh, man. Oh man, I, uh, there is a saying like this in America, but I think most Americans say play it by year. Maybe, are we saying it wrong? 
<laughs> Are we just saying it wrong? Play it by ear. Play it by year. I think most Americans say play it by year, but there are, sometimes we like have these sayings that we are mishearing. Is it supposed to be play it by ear? Or uh, anyway, it means like you're going to see what happens. Uh, let things come slowly. Like, oh, we'll play it by year. See what happens. Just go for it. That kind of thing. Play it by ear. By ear. Does that make more sense somehow? Now this means that you don't make a plan, but you decide something nearer the time or near the time. So for example, hmm. if I said to you, uh, what time shall we have a picnic tomorrow? You might say, well, let's look at the weather yeah. and play it by ear. Oh man. I mean, we definitely have this saying. Definitely. Oh, it's just, maybe I can Google it. Like, is this common that Americans say it wrong? Uh, play it, oh, play it by year or ear. It literally comes up. As it turns out, play it by ear is the correct spelling. Oh no. What is the saying, play it by year? Oh man, play it by ear, play it by year. I mean, this is a commonly misspoken saying. I'm actually just learning something about this saying. Because this is said in America. We, I think a lot of people just say it wrong. Let's look at the weather and play it by ear. And that oh. means let's not make a plan now because we don't know what the weather will be like. So huh. when we look at the weather, then we'll know, okay, let's make a decision then. So we play wow. it by ear. So we don't make a plan. We decide later when we have more information, the weather, things like that. Okay, so let's hmm. play it by ear. Let yeah, yeah, I, this reminds me of when Americans say, I could care less. When in fact, the correct way to say it is, I couldn't care less. A lot of Americans say, I could care less about that, which is, you know, funny, because it means you are capable of caring less, so you care some amount. Uh, <laughs> and here we have play it by ear. Okay. Now I'm gonna remember this forever, I feel like. Let's play it by ear. Let's not make a decision now. Let's make it later yeah. when we have more information. Right, in right. In a tick. Oh, in a tick. In a tick. Finally one that uh, is not American. Okay, this is the first one where I don't know what this means. In a tick sounds to me like a bad thing. Like uh, you're in a situation, you're in a hurry. Or in a in a pickle, in a in a bad situation, a conundrum, if you will, in a tick. I, that that's my guess. In a tick means very soon or very quickly. Oh, oh man, oh, I have heard this very rarely. Very rarely, some people will use the word tick. Uh. Oh man, it's so rare for someone to say in a tick. Uh, but but if I know what the word tick means, like it'll just be a tick, just a second. Hmm, this one's like, there are some Americans maybe out there who use the word tick like a small moment in time, but that is, that is getting obscure. I would not call this super common in America. But not unheard of, not unheard of. I had forgotten completely about this. <laughs> so we use it, um, if someone asks you to do something, you could say, okay, I'll do it in a tick. Right. It means I'll do it very soon. Yeah. Maybe you're meeting your friend and you say to them, I'll be there in a tick. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was completely wrong about this. I was like, oh, this means you're in a, you're really in a bind. You're in, you're in some kind of dangerous situation. It's like, no, no, no. Tick. I'll be there in a tick. I've heard that. I've heard someone say, I'll be there in a tick. Uh, but in a, in a tick kind of confused me. All right, all right, you know, this one, some Americans know this. I got to say that. But I, this might be used more in Britain. I'm not sure. And that means I'll be there very soon. Yeah. Really natural British English idiom. In a tick. Okay. Means very soon or very quickly. Okay. Here is a super British idiom. <laughs> easy peasy. 
Easy peasy. <laughs> oh, man, this is almost... I mean, it's not unheard of in America, but it's said in, like, a funny, not serious way. Not serious at all. Like, you're almost joking around when you say this. Almost doing, like, a British, maybe, parody or something. Because this is, this is always said in jest. Like, easy peasy. It's not ever said very seriously. And not very common at all. But I have, I've at least heard this. Easy, pe easy peasy. Yeah. Uh, this one is a fun one. It just means something is really, really easy. I, I had no idea this was like a popular British saying. He's, he's saying here at the bottom it's from like a children's nursery rhyme or something. Uh, I feel like this is probably more popular in Britain. But I, I've at least heard this. Um, so, for example, if you um, have a test and you can say, oh, that was easy peasy. That mm. was really easy. Right. Or uh, learning English is easy peasy. Right. Learning English oh. is really easy. Oh. Easy peasy. I like it. Easy peasy. Say it a few times. Easy peasy. 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 Really easy. <laughs> To spend a penny. Now spend a penny? To spend a penny? I mean, this definitely is not an American saying, for sure. But is it like, uh, at face value, it means to spend a penny. <laughs> right? Can I just take it at face value? No, probably not. Uh, it's like hitting the sack. You can't take, <laughs> you can't take that at face value. Spend a penny. Um, like spend a moment or to, to buy something very, very cheap? Spend a penny. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. This one is quite old, but it's also very polite. So sometimes it's still quite useful to use it. So to spend a penny means huh? to go to the toilet. Huh? <laughs> huh? What? Why? How? Why does that mean that? I, oh man, I'm so shocked I'm getting pop-ups here on my screen. Okay, uh, excuse me. Spend a penny, how, what does that relate to the bathroom? Or the toilet? Or going to the toilet? Is that a polite way to say that? I'm gonna spend a penny, it sounds like, like a code word. It's almost like you're beating around the bush or something, like you don't want to say you have to go to the bathroom, so it's like a code. Like, I gotta spend a penny? Uh, but apparently this is old-fashioned and polite. I've never heard this. And that's because I think in the past, in public, when you wanted to go to the toilet, you had to spend a penny. You literally had to oh. pay one penny piece and you were able to go to the toilet. So we... What? Is that a British thing? Oh, I didn't know about that. Well, that there's like a logical... That's literally a logical answer to why this is. <laughs> spend, a, spend a penny. I thought it was like spend a moment. Spend a small amount of time. No, go to the toilet. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I was, I was so close, right? So close. Wow. We've taken the phrase now to mean that you want to go to the toilet, but you don't have to pay the one, pa oh, the one penny. Don't worry. Okay. So um, I might say to you guys, okay, just give me five minutes. I'm just going to spend a penny. It's funny also because thinking about it, it's like, if you ever said this in America, uh, everyone would look at you and be like, you're, you're going to what? What are you about to do? And then it would be like this whole awkward thing where you're like explaining, <laughs> explaining what spend a penny means to all the Americans. But, you know, it is what it is. And it's actually, <laughs> I think it's quite amusing. I, I like this one. And that means... Wait five minutes, I'm just going to go to the toilet. Okay. So it's a really polite, slightly old-fashioned way to say, go to the toilet. I hadn't heard An it. alternative, maybe more modern English might be, I'm just going to go to the loo. That could be a... Go to the loo? Go to the loo. I haven't heard that one either, if that's modern. What does loo mean? And why are you going to it? And what's going to happen there? Actually, don't answer that. I understand now. A polite way to say the same thing, but spend a penny, kind of, it's polite, it's, it's a good phrase. 
Okay. Guys, have okay. I left any British English idioms out? Which ones have I forgotten? Please let me know in the comments wow. below. And you can also teach. Uh... Wow, okay, that's it. That was the five. Five British idioms, sayings. Man, you know what was interesting here is there were a couple that... Oh, it's really interesting, actually. There's a couple that are, like, very British, but have kind of crept their way into the American English lexicon of words and sayings to where I rarely, very rarely, have... But I've heard some of these. Play it by ear, although we... we I swear we all say play it by ear. Uh... <laughs> Call it a day, for sure. Yeah. Um, under the weather, for sure. We say that. Uh, in a tick. In a tick. Like, that... Some people say that. <laughs> so, let's just leave it at that. To spend a penny, I don't... I don't know about that. Like, no. Just no. I've never heard that in my life. So that's a good one. Uh, are there any uh, comments here? There's probably some people who left some comments, honestly. Um, about maybe some more sayings. It's easy peasy to learn this. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is it? My favorite British expressions. Different strokes for different folks. We, I've heard that. Silent but violent. Silent but, oh, oh my. Uh, no, I haven't heard that one. Um, any more? Any more? Um, today I feel under the weather. I'm gonna call it a day. Yep, 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 yep. Um, piece of cake. Yeah, yeah, we have that. Um, that's the same as easy peasy. Very good. All right, are there any more? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's, that's something I've heard. <laughs> I've heard, I've heard that. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, man. Two shakes of a lamb's tail. I've kind of, I've heard two shakes of something. Is it a lamb's tail? That's kind of like, is it play it by ear or play it by year? Is it two shakes of a lamb's tail or a, or a moose's tail or I don't know. Either way, these were good. These were very good. I actually think that it's fascinating to, to actually hear about some of the expressions that are somewhat similar between Britain and America that I, I have no idea which ones they're going to be. And then there were a couple in here that I just straight up have never heard before, which is always good, especially if I find myself having to go to the bathroom in Britain and uh, wanting to be a little polite or, you know, a little uh, innocuous uh, <laughs> with uh, what I'm doing. I'm, I'd probably say it wrong. Be like, I'm going to go take a pound. And they'd be like, what? What are you doing? And it's like, uh, take a penny. Uh, take a quid. It's like... <laughs> Hope I get it right, but this seriously, this was enjoyable for me and educational, so I enjoyed it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment, perhaps with one of your favorite British sayings. Uh, and uh, if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Britain and British culture and just stuff about Britain I've never learned before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.